we're all fed up with AI generated sales pitches, people slapping us in the DMs and worst cold emails that just bounce off our inbox and just get deleted. We never see them again. It's horrible. And if you're somebody who's a, like a senior consultant or an executive coach, then you've got a double problem because not only does that approach annoy you, but you know that you can't use it on your clients either. You can't use it to attract audience. You can't use it to attract your clients because it feels icky, right? It feels awful to do. And it generally doesn't add value. It's short-term thinking and you're smarter than that. Right? You've been there, you've done corporate, you know that there's a better way to do things. We just need to figure it out. And the hard part is like, what? <laughs> so what do we actually do? And I've seen all sorts of variations on this through the years, and I'm not saying that there's any right or wrong answers predominantly, right? Funnels are a great example. Yeah. If you get your funnel right and you hit the right notes on it, it takes a lot of iterations, it takes a lot of testing, it takes a lot of variances. And it's constant hard work. You can't just set it and leave it like the experts would have you um, suspect, right? Like it's not fully automated. It needs work. It needs support, ongoing costs with partners, etc. Conferences, public speaking is great, um, but not easy to get hold of, not always have the right people there. It's not always easy for people to contact you afterwards. And there's that disconnect between, yeah, this is an amazing public speaker and it's somebody who I want to work with. And that's where I promote video to sit in the middle of all of that, right? Video and authority marketing, right? Authority marketing, right? That's a bit of a buzzword, right? What does it actually mean? It means helping your audience to see you as an authority in the subjects that you help people with through adding value. So I bet a lot of you already do something like this, where you're writing long form articles. You're writing long form articles to showcase your thought leadership, your knowledge and your experience. That's great, but it takes ages to do. And let's be honest, LinkedIn doesn't prioritize those articles at all. All they're going to do is sit there on your page until somebody bothers to look through your profile, find them in your feed and go, oh, this, this person knows what they're talking about. So they're great, but they're a credibility piece at that point, not something that's also driving awareness. And that's why I like video because video is very much being pushed and promoted by the feed. It's being pushed by LinkedIn, brought in the new vertical format feed that gets you noticed by people outside of your traditional network. And it allows you to look people one at a time, almost, in the whites of their eyes and explain complicated concepts, ideas that they might not have thought about, trends that are happening in your industry, and things that will showcase you as being the expert that you really are. That is why I much prefer video content as opposed to outreach. And the beauty being when you're creating that video content, all your outreach needs to do is to point people to your content. And that doesn't feel ick at all. That is actually just giving them an option. So you can go out proactively to their inbox and just say, Hey, people like you often struggle with some of these topics here. I make content that tell you how you can fix them. Come and follow me. There's no sales pitch. There's no hard pressure. It's a nice, relaxed, open invitation. Some people will say yes, and that will accelerate what you're already doing by getting out and active in the feed.